Hey everybody, Lucas Rubuki here with another AngularJS tutorial. We are going to be extending the AngularJS album uh, just one step further today using the uh, HTTP service that comes with Angular. And one of the things that's bothered me about this album is that the majority of my JavaScript is this big uh, JSON object that I wrote just so that we would have something to work with. So what I want to do is I want to abstract that out into a separate JSON file and then load it via an Ajax call. And it's incredibly easy in Angular. And um, so let's get started. First things first, let's just pull this out and put this into a JSON file. We'll call it images.json. I'm going to paste that in. Let me just get this set up correctly. Okay. There we go. And so we are going to be using the HTTP service, which is a core Angular service that basically handles um, basically all your communication to a remote HTTP service using the standard XML HTTP request object, or it also does uh, JSONP and how this works is it uh, it's a service as a function which takes a single argument um, it's a configuration object that you kind of set uh, you know the different parameters that you want to use for instance the method the URL and then what it does is it returns a promise object that has two HTTP HTTP um, methods in their success and error and so what you can do is then set your callbacks based on that so the first thing you need to do to get this HTTP service into uh, your controller is simply add it in as another parameter to the the controller and so my first question was is like well how does this get in here is this magic what's going on well using the angular JS uh, dependency injection subsystem it, it picks up the fact that you are calling this HTTP service and injects it for you um, when you need it. So it's very nice that you know if you don't need it, it doesn't get in there, but if it does, then it's there. So I think dependency injection is just a really, really neat thing and a way to, to kind of break up um, some dependencies. So let's start to build this out. And so first things first is we are going to, um, let's build a function called fetch and let's put our HTTP call in there now what I'm going to do here is uh, first it's because because get and post are you know there's kind of some these different things that you have to set every single time angular went ahead and created some uh, shortcut methods that um, kind of just sets that for you and then um, and so it's just a, a more convenient way to do that. So we are going to be using the uh, the get shortcut method. So here, I'm just going to put in images.json, so just the URL, and I am going to put the uh, the success callback in here. And I'm going to call a function called, uh, we'll call it images, or handle images loaded. Okay, so let's just build this out real quick. Handle images loaded. Okay, let me just put in some parameters here real quick. Data status. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set images to data. And also what I need to do is, because these obviously current image, image categories are not going to work. Uh, down here because the image the data isn't in yet let me put them up here what I'm also going to do is I don't really like the fact that I'm, I'm hard coding this uh, URL right into uh, my get method so let me just uh, pull that out real quick images JSON like so and let me also just declare these uh, properties up here and uh, I want to set this to an empty object and so what's happening is I have a 
method called fetch, which is I'm calling the shortcut method git on the HTTP service. And I need to change this to the URL. Just one second. And then I'm calling, on success, I'm calling a uh, handle images loaded, which is here. Let me just spell that right. I'm glad I caught that. That would have been embarrassing. And then I'm saying, hey, set this. Uh, the data to or images to this data and then I'm going through and I'm setting the current image and the images category so let's go over here let's refresh the page and nothing's happening obviously because um, I'm not calling that but I just wanted to show you uh, kind of the before and after so let's go scope fetch like so let me come back here let me refresh it and lo and behold, there we go, Is uh, everything is loaded, and um, I've made that Ajax call. Uh, super simple, HTTP, it was just uh, a breeze to set up and uh, get going. So that wraps it up this tutorial. I thank you for joining me. I hope you've learned something, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great day.